Christina from Christina's Crafts. Um, I got these two arrows that I got from Dollar Tree and I am going to take these strings out here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some hot glue just to fill in these holes a little bit here. So I'm just going to put some hot glue on there and then clean that up a little bit just to get them all filled in. Okay, now that I have my two houses ready, um, I bought these um, hot pads from Dollar Tree. I already cut one out, and I'm actually going to be putting these on here. We're going to use these as kind of like um, a little house decoration. So what I did was I basically just snipped the fabric here, and then I'm just cutting around the outside just to get the fabric part off of here. So, I probably could have took a seam ripper and took all the seams apart, but I think this just is a lot easier. So, this is just, I don't know, I just saw the hot pads one day in the little houses and I'm like, well, I'm always looking for stuff to cover projects, so I thought maybe that would be really cute, try putting the hot pads on the, on the houses. So, I'm going to get this cut out of here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to size these up onto here. Uh, looks like this one's going to be pretty see-through. You're going to see those holes. This one is pretty good. I don't think you're going to see the holes as much on this one. Or I could try to use the pattern to kind of cover it up a little. Okay, so for right now, I'm not going to worry about the holes. I'm going to see what I can do later on to get them covered up decent. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take my Mod Podge and an old paintbrush, and I am going to put the Mod Podge on the bottom portion of my houses. Now I have my fabric all cut out, and I did a, tried to do a nice clean straight edge on there. I don't know how well a job I did, but... Um, that's going to have to get covered up too, so I guess we'll just see what happens here. Alright, so put my Mod Podge on there, and then I am going to line up my fabric on here. I think that looks pretty good there. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and do that to my other one. So just some Mod Podge. All right, I'm going to line this up on here. Hopefully I get a good fit. Hopefully it's centered. Might be a little bit off. It's kind of hard to tell. All right, we're just gonna go with it. All right, so I'm gonna get this on here. I think I'm gonna Mad Mod Podge over the front so it gets nice and hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this dry first and then Mod Podge over the top of that. Okay, now that I have that dry, here, let me move this over here more into frame. I am just gonna take my Mod Podge and I'm gonna go right over the front of the fabric. So I'm just going to stick it right on here. That way it's going to make this fabric nice and hard and it's going to stick on there really good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this completely covered. I'm going to cover this one and then I am going to dry it and then we will see what we're going to do after that. Okay, now that this is all dry, um, I actually already did this one, but what I did was I just took some sandpaper around the edges um, you could just take an X-Acto knife, but I don't have any actual sandpaper, so I just grabbed some of this from my hand sander that I have, and then just go down like this to take the fabric off. Okay, and then for the roof, um, I have some of this glitter um, vinyl that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use that for my roof. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut a piece off of here. All right. And then I'm 
just going to peel this off and try to line it up as best as I can. Nope, I got a little off on that one side. Let's try this again. All right, and then for the extra, I'm just going to take, um, I think I'm going to take my sandpaper and just get the extra off on here. So I'm going to go ahead and go around my whole roof here and get that done. Okay. So I have that all done, and now I have to deal with covering up these holes that were in the arrow. And um, some of these I got from Dollar Tree, and these were from Amazon, these were from Dollar Tree, just to spruce it up a little bit, but I think I'm gonna paint them. I think I'm gonna go with maybe a brown on those, not sure yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these painted, because those are gonna go on there. But first, um, what I'm gonna do to cover up these edges here is I'm just gonna take some jute to put around there. So I'm just going to stick a little hot glue here and then I'm going to wrap some of this jute around the top here so I can cover up where that seam meets. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go just like that. Nothing too like fancy or anything. So I'll just stick a little hot glue on there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on my other one. Okay, I just took a little bit of some steel gray on my paintbrush here. And I am just going to try to be very careful and put a light coat on my birdie. Because, yeah, he just wasn't, that elephant gray, which is what I used on there, just wasn't showing up enough. Then there is just one more thing, and that is so um, to make the stand. So let's see. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my blacks like this. So I just have some tumbling tower blocks that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to hot glue them on the back of this. And then hopefully, nope. <laughs> Here, let's push yeah the box got to be up a little bit higher that's what my problem was okay and then I'm going to do this one I'm just gonna clean that up there drive me nuts all right stick my blocks on quick so that when I stand it up I can adjust it oh a little bit of hot glue down there There we go. Okay, that is it. I don't know. They think they turned out pretty cute. You'll have to let me know what you think. Here's this one. And the other one. I don't know. I kind of like them. They turned out a little bit better, actually, than I thought they were going to turn out. I was thinking maybe I should do something on the bottom because they just look a little goofy. But now I think they look okay. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And um, these hot pads, I'm going to see if I can find something else to do with the other two. But anyways, um, I really hope you subscribe and hit the bell. You get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.